Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I am here to do a new person reading for you. Let's go ahead and roll the zodiac die, see what signs might be coming in for you, or what, who might be influencing your relationships with new people. Libra, front and center, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Interesting. I'm going to use the good tarot for the actual reading, but Spirit asked me to start with a Whispers of Love Oracle message for this reading. So that's what we are going to do. I'm having a hard time holding on <laughs> to the cards. Relationship Patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. All right, we are going to put this right up here. Okay, so that's the overall message from Spirit about this new person. Recognizing the patterns that we have within our own relationships. What we do that brings in the same type of people or new energy. All right, let's go ahead and lay your reading out here. Okay, awesome. I can feel really good energy here right now. All right, so why have you not found your true love yet? And this is probably going to tie right in here to your relationship patterns. Actually, you know what? Before we start, that spirit's asking me to find the book for this and read you what that says, and I don't, I don't see it here, which is really interesting because I took all my books and put them in one spot here, so I guess I'm not doing that because I don't know where it is right now. Hmm, interesting. So something is missing. Okay. Queen of Earth, this is why you have not found your true love yet. What is blocking you? Now, the Queen of Pentacles has to do with your self-worth. Your How you view yourself and how you view other people. Usually... This is a very good card to draw, okay? It talks about understanding your self-worth. But I'm hearing that it may be you questioning your own self-worth. Like you may have been in too many relationships where you've been hurt, okay? This is a pattern that has been taking place. Okay, so say, and this is what happens. The first relationship you ever get into can dictate for you for many, many years, or for the rest of your life, what type of relationships you're going to draw to you, okay? Because if somebody told you you weren't kind, you were fat, you were too much, you were too little, or whatever, okay, and you took that to heart. So now every relationship that you get into in the future, you're feeling, is are they going to tell me I'm too much, too little, too, you know, this or that? And you, put, you bring that energy towards yourself. So you're questioning your own self-worth before you even get into a relationship with somebody. So what Spirit wants you to do is recognize, by the way, this is card 32. Spirit wants you to recognize the patterns that are in your personal relationships. How do you feel about yourself? What kind of thoughts do you tell yourself? Are you telling yourself you're beautiful or handsome, that you're ca capable, that you can live your life happy, that you have a lot to offer this world? Because all of us do. All of us have wonderful things to offer us. The key thing here is to remember that whoever has said you're too much, too little, you're not nice enough, you're, that's for them. Okay, They're saying that be, they need more that they need less, not that you personally are anything. And that's where we go wrong. We think that what they're saying is, is there something wrong with us? All they're saying is that the two of you are not a match, okay? They need something different, but they stay in the relationship, okay? Just like we all do. 
So if somebody has broken up with you and says, oh, you're too much this or too much that, don't take that personally and let it control your life. Understand that they just can't handle whatever. Okay, there's somebody out there who's going to love you for exactly who you are, but you have to know who you are, not what other people's opinions of you are. So this may be what is bl blocking for you. And it does say it takes strength to recognize the need and what it is that we need to change. Okay. So it could be, you know, the things that you're saying to yourself, maybe start saying some positive affirmations, writing positive affirmations about you. Think about your good qualities. What are the nice things that people have said about you? Because people have said nice things, okay? It's just not it's just the way the world works. So there have been compliments throughout your life, and what you need to do is focus on those, not the negative things that people have said. Okay. All right. How can you change or remove the blocks? Ten of air, ten of swords. Let it go. See how you're, this is ten of swords, but this angel here has decided to turn the swords into feathers and let them float away. Put that burden down. Don't listen to what the, anybody has said about you. It's your belief in yourself. Look, she's blowing that one feather away. It's so light. You don't have to hold on to any of this negative energy. Turn your swords, the painful, hurtful things, the backstabbings, the things that people have said about you that are not true, first of all. They're not true. If there's a grain of truth, then fix whatever needs to be fixed, okay? That's the change that you have to make, okay? But as far as being too much, too little, whatever, um, you focus on what makes you happy. And you turn those swords into feathers so that you can just let them float away. Beautiful message there for you. All right. How and where will you meet your person? Ooh, only after a change, after determining for yourself where you want to go in life. Okay. That's when you find your passion. That's when you find your focus. That's when this person is going to come into you. I'm hearing you may meet at a circus, a carnival, a festival, um, a horse show, fireworks, 4th of July, um, some sort of extravaganza, circus is coming through again, uh, carnival, I heard carnival, like, which I think is Brazilian, carnival, um, it's going to happen before the next full moon or right around the next full moon. I'm at, I'm hearing you may be called out. Like if there's a show happening, this could be Cirque du Soleil. I am getting this too. You may be in Vegas or somewhere else where Cirque du Soleil is showing. You may be sitting in a relatively front row seat like within the first 10 rows of the stage and you might be called out it couldn't be any type of show too that you might be called out in but i'm also hearing that you might try to get on a carousel and this person may try to get on the same horse okay that you're trying to get on and that's how you're going to meet when you're called on stage, when you come off stage, or when you're called out, let's put it that way, when you're called out after you're returning to your spot or leaving or whatever, that's when your person approaches and says, wow, that was really brave of you. I can't believe you had to do that. How did it feel? And they just start talking to you. They really enjoyed your courage, okay? And it looks like you ended up having fun with it, so that's good. Um, some of you may be traveling to a foreign place, an exotic place to you. So if you're from the United States, something exotic might be China or India, Turkey. I'm getting something Mongolian here. Um, yeah, Egypt, it's someplace mysterious. France, 
Someplace exotic. Definitely. All right. Um, let's see. We have seven here, so there could be some sense of gambling. Vegas came out, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. So um, places where people take a chance, take a risk. Excitement. I mean, everything here is excitement. Fun. Um, celebration. Some of you might be going on um, nighttime hikes to look at the stars, to check out the moon, maybe uh, an eclipse. I'm getting the Hubble telescope or similar type of energy. Maybe even to watch a comet pass. I don't know when the next Haley's Comet is coming through. Let's see if I can find out quickly. When will Haley's Comet show again? 2061. Well, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Um, so it may be a different type of um, celestial light show. Oh, we're getting quite a bit of that right now. Okay, interesting. Aurora Borealis just came up here. All right, let's see how you will recognize them, what type of characteristics um, they may have. I'm getting blonde hair, golden blonde. Um, could be white blonde like a towhead, but I'm really getting very golden blonde to reddish, a true strawberry blonde. Um, they may have white hair, but I think this comes from age more so than towheadedness. Um, again, I'm getting, oh my gosh, exotic place, okay? So they may be exotic. They may be completely different from anything that you're used to. They may dress differently. They may um, be taller. Ooh, tall, really tall is coming through here. Male or female does not matter either. They definitely have their own path to follow. Like they don't, they may listen to what other people say but i'm getting somebody out there is going to go oh yeah <laughs> like that fake laugh because they don't buy what somebody is saying they really know who they are um what they're about and they're not about to change for anybody a giraffe never changes their spots okay <laughs> they just don't nope but i'm also hearing that they can reach and achieve whatever goal they want to. So they have attained a nice elevation, a nice status in life. I love how I'm thinking one thing and what comes out of my mouth is completely different because spirit speaks through my mouth. My brain does its own thing. Um, but yeah, they, they definitely are a leader, but quiet leadership, okay? They, um, with the two, this is the two of wands card here, by the way, in case I didn't mention this, this is the page of wands, chariot, 10 of swords and queen of earth with the two of wands here. I'm hearing that they are always challenging themselves to reach higher, to see the bigger picture, to see what else they can accomplish. Yeah. So they could be an athlete. They could be a performer. What can they do to in, improve? And even, even if they're not this uh, a performer or an athlete, this is how they live their life. Striving to be better every day, a better version of themselves every day. But they're not stressed. They're not worried. If you notice, this person is sitting very comfortably and very relaxed almost meditative, like kind of just gazing into this lantern here. So yeah, a peaceful, peaceful energy of self-improvement. I'm not hearing chasing after um, other people's dreams or get-rich-quick schemes. No, this is about personal growth. I see a lot of gold in this image too, so I do feel that there is some sort of quality about them that is just like you'll recognize it as soon as you meet them 
It's golden. It feels like, oh, an aura. Like their aura, the, the energy that they give off is very, very nice. But you also can feel that there's a boundary there, too. Again, with that laugh, like, oh, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and it could be a guy or a uh, uh, man or male or female that you're meeting here. But that's the energy that they have. They just don't buy everything that they hear. They're good at thinking for themselves. They're keeping their head above the clouds here. Yeah. They they have a lot of reason to celebrate. They have a lot of reason to be, have their head in the clouds, okay? To be a daydreamer, but they're not just a daydreamer. They make their dreams come true. There's a lot of passion here too. Conviction, I keep hearing. That they choose what path they want to go and they go. They they're determined. All right, so what are some things that you might need to know about this person? Either red flags or positive aspects. Card 20, the call, the messenger. This is, um. Oh, I'm sorry, the call. This is the judgment card here. They let their past go. They, they are not dealing with their past. They do not deal with regrets. They move forward forward they keep going and they do feel that they are constantly being called to a higher level to learn more about themselves to become spiritually more okay personally more rising above any situation yeah they're they're not gonna they don't wallow in any negativity and they're not going to allow that they'll say goodbye quickly to anybody that tries to to I don't want to say drag them down. I mean, if somebody tries to drag them down, they're gone. They're not going to they're not going to participate in that. They're going to rise above the situation. But I'm also hearing like if you're in ca casual conversation with this person and this is what keeps coming through. Somebody makes an off-color joke. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and then they move on. They're gone. They're not going to even give this person that time of day anymore. Okay, yeah, nah, that's not worth my time. I'm not going there. I'm not putting any effort into that. But I'm also hearing that they feel that they are on a life purpose journey of learning more about themselves, discovering more about the universe, more about um, just life in general. Now, this could be good or it could be bad, okay, because they do have a very focused um, attention here with the Two of Wands the uh, Page of Wands, the Two of Wands, and then this call. Yeah, they are definitely a focused individual. So sometimes you may not be able to get through um, to them if they are in the throes of expansion, of growth, of learning. Okay, so that's not even that's not even a bad thing. I think you you understand this about this person. You will understand this about this person and you don't take this personally. In fact, they may even tell you like I'm going off on a retreat. You know, I need time to myself. I need time to elevate. I need time to clear my head, think about what's going on, what my next best move would be. Okay. And I don't feel that they're trying to exclude you or leave you, you behind. In any way, shape, or form. In fact, if you were to say, if they were to say, I'm going to go to Africa because I want to discover this. I want to do a retreat. Do, they're going to say, do you want to come along? Okay. They may not give you all their attention while they're there because they're there for a purpose. They're there to answer the call. But they don't have any problems spending time with you. But this is not going to be a codependent relationship. You're fine staying at home. You know, you don't have to go to Africa, but if you want to, you're going to go. All right. But this is about you understanding who you are first, okay? Changing those patterns. All right, so further information that Spirit wants to give you is the Seven of Wands, boundaries, standing up for what you believe in, knowing what you believe in, okay? Also, here's the Messenger of Earth. This is the page, uh, or the Knight of pentacles here long time in coming and there is the king of wands all right so i do feel like for you this is the person that is going to be right for you you have learned your boundaries 
You've discovered what you will accept about yourself in your relationships, what you will not accept about yourself in relationships. You will not talk negative to yourself anymore, okay? You're going to believe in yourself whether anyone else believes in you or not. And I'm getting that very strongly because you, you can say, I believe in unicorns and people around you will laugh at you, okay? Does not matter. Hang on. I'm back. I'm sorry about that. It was 2022 on the clock when I got interrupted by the handyman that I've been waiting on for my new place to fix and check out some new th uh, issues that I've had. So I do apologize for the interruption that you probably didn't even know happened. However, we're going to go right on with this message. We're going to find out what months of the year are going to be important for you when you may meet this person or their birth date or any other type of important month september so maybe around your birthday my lovely libras they may be a libra themselves what did we yeah that's very strong so they're most likely going to be a libra with some aquarius in their chart or maybe strong pisces capricorn i bet you they have all of those signs in the chart that would definitely um, add up to this type of person all right so they may be a libra rising too so even if it's not uh no no i'm, I'm definitely getting a libra sun all right any other months of importance here for my lovely lovely libras cross watchers and channel fans two more cards here march and april Something of importance is going to happen in the spring. I just heard a parade, but there's something about thawing. Something thawing in the spring. Somebody's name may be Sam, male or female, like short for Samantha or short for Samuel. All right. Let's see if we can get some more physical characteristics about this person. Um, I am getting, like I said, golden blonde to red, strawberry red, um, strawberry gold, red hair, white hair. There might be a brunette out there or somebody with dark eyes or complexion, okay? So if it's a woman, they will probably be dark complexion, dark eyes. They may even have um, almond-shaped eyes or unique. I just keep hearing unique-shaped eyes. Maybe that it's, uh, if it's a woman, it maybe they wear um, eyelashes or makeup that changes um, their, the look of their eyes, a more exotic look. If you're dealing with a man, again, fair-haired, white, blonde, or gray, they could have a beard. Yeah, okay, so there's a little bit more for you to go on. I am getting to, um, even though this person may have uh, dark eyes or naturally dark hair, they may have red in their hair, okay? Let's go ahead and see i have to show you this these two months were sitting there january and june between i'm hearing jj the, uh, the name might be june or jan if it's a man or a woman I'm hearing with January, I keep hearing a new year. It's a new beginning, a new year, a new beginning, and then a wedding. So there could be something about a new start in January for you and attending some sort of important ceremony. It could be a wedding, a graduation. Something's going to happen. But I'm also getting the initials JJ. I'm also hearing Lollapalooza. Some sort of um, jazz jam. All right, I'm going to put those over here. All right, so let's move on and see what oracle messages Spirit wants to give you concerning this relationship. So let's go to 
the angel answers. If you do not have any questions formed yet, please go ahead and pause the video. Think about your questions if you want to ask some. And then start the video back up when you are ready, okay? And then I will be going on to the angel, uh, romance angel oracle messages. So we'll get three messages here from Spirit Answers from the Angel Oracle deck. All right, so the first answer is you need to receive more information. You need to get more information. And I'm hearing that this is about this. You need more positive affirmation. You need to make sure that you are coming from a place of <clears throat> self-worth, okay, self-love. All right. Oh, I forgot to get your blessings and your um, anything that you need to watch out for. Let's go ahead and get you the rest of these answers, and then we'll go back to that. See, I got sidetracked. Don't get sidetracked. I think you're going to feel sidetracked by this person. I do feel there's a good, strong, um, healthy attraction here. It's not going to be like, for most of you, it's it doesn't feel like it's going to be fireworks just blasting away as soon as you meet the person. But I do feel like you're going to be like, oh, I like this person. Yeah, they're cool. They've got a great energy about them. So... Yeah, definitely a good relationship here. All right, so your next two answers are communicate clearly. So you need some more information. I'm, I'm also hearing whatever you're trying to tell the universe you want to bring into yourself, whatever you want to manifest, you need to be clear. You need to be really like if you're saying I and this is about your self-worth. OK, so you doing the work that needs to be done to change. So you need to say clearly, I want to feel more positive about myself. I want to feel more confident. And don't even say, I want. Say, I feel more confident about who I am. I am a positive person. I have, okay? That's communicating clearly to the universe, to yourself, to those around you, that you are confident, that you are capable, you're beautiful, you're intelligent, you're wise, you're charismatic, you're anything that you believe you are. All right. And then I just heard within the next few weeks is your last answer. So um, I'm not even going to go there. It could be when you meet your person. It could be. We'll see what happens. All right. We're going to go back to the uh, things you might need to watch out for with this person or this relationship or from the people around you. These are the tea leaf oracle cards. Um, they give you a lot of information here. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. Now, don't take that literally, but it will be somebody will try to tell you, and again, I'm getting that this is somebody trying to, they're going to try to control you. They're going to see that you're glowing up, that you're taking care of yourself, and they're going to say negative things to you. They're going to try to break your will because they see you moving on, moving up, elevating, okay? Don't let anyone else rent space in your head, especially for free because nobody can pay you for that space. It's yours. What goes on inside your head is up to you, when you start hearing what somebody said in the past, get rid of it. Nope, I don't believe that. I am just the opposite of that. All right, let's see what else there might be that you need to watch out for. Apple, <laughs> temptation will test you. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to keep... So that's not a negative thing necessarily, okay? But what I'm hearing is this temptation, okay, this temptation is based on the temptation to fall back into what you know, what you believe, okay? Not what you know, but what you believe, what you already are dealing with. So those negative thoughts, 
That's the temptation that will test, test you, especially if you're improving any... Somebody just asked me this. Why is it every time I feel good about life and I feel like I'm moving in the right direction, life smacks me upside the head and dishes me something absolutely difficult, blah, 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 okay? You know why? Because you're being tested. Do you really want what you're going after or are you just going to crumble back into the, that comfort zone, okay? I, I don't even know when I heard this, but I had to be, it had to be back in my Catholic upraising days. Um, somebody said, anytime you start to do good and make progress in your life to be happy and healthy and whole, the devil will rise up and try to reclaim you, try to pull you to his side, okay? I don't know who that's meant for because I don't necessarily go for that, but that's what I believed when I was younger. But I do feel like that we have to know that we have the conviction to heed the call, okay, to, to rise above who we are. Can we improve ourselves every time we wake up, okay? And that's what this person does, and I think that this may be what the beneficial part of this relationship is. Your family's going to be sorry to see you go because you are. You're elevating. You're moving up. Whoever the family is, okay, it could be direct family. It could be friends. It could be your community. People are seeing the change. They don't want you to go. They may try to hold you back. Don't allow that to happen. Do not allow that to happen. All right, let's see what blessings are going to come in here around the time of this relationship or due to this relationship. You're going to hear good news. You've got the ear. You've got the hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally. Now, I said some of you might be in Vegas. Some of you might be traveling to exotic places. All right. Uh, and that's what it says, E-H. Uh, uh, huh. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Take it a little further. Move on. Keep going forward. You've got the chariot. You're definitely glowing up. Traveling, possibly, too. Any other blessings here, spirit? There it is. Whoop. Dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past. Okay? I'm, I'm not even going to try to clarify that one. I Oh, my gosh. I'm hearing some, like a comedian or from a movie where somebody says, Hey, dog. Hey, dog. If that means something to you, there's a message here in this message for you specifically. Maybe Spirit's trying to uh, get your attention back to the reading. On the bottom of this beneficial deck, okay, blessings that are coming, is the tower. It wouldn't be a Libra reading without a tower. However, this says it's a solid foundation that you are building on. Success through the efforts that you have made to change. So we are leaving that tower moment right there for you. And dolphins are about playing and having fun, okay? They're also, dolphins are protectors. So I'm hearing that you're going to have some sort of divine protection here. And again, I'm getting an Asian feel like a pagoda, um, exotic, just an exotic energy here. Okay. Ted, the name Ted, Theodore, if you're seeking a male. All right, let's go ahead and see what the what Spirit would like to say using the Romance Angel Oracle messages. What does Spirit have to tell you or want you to know using the Romance Angel Oracle messages here? Calling in your soulmate. <laughs> your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations are what help you bring you two together. All right, so fixing yourself, fixing those things that you know don't work in relationships, codependency, talking negative your, to yourself, building up your self-worth, you go for that. You go do that. That's what draws in. That's what calls in your soulmate. Beautiful message here. Thank you, Spirit. 
Awesome. Anything else that you would like to share with our lovely Libras Cross Watchers or channel fans using the Romance Angels? Deception. This is you. This is you, okay? And it's not that you're intentionally trying to deceive anyone, but the truth of who you are, okay? That's what this is about. You can't hide who your true authentic self is. Let the mask fall, the mask of what other people have told you you are. Let it go. All right, what else would Spirit like to tell you? Ooh, there's attraction. And again, we've got that June wedding thing going on here. Okay, now it does not necessarily mean you're going to marry this person. It could, of course. But there's definitely uh, um, an attraction here immediately. Okay, but also you're going to be enjoying your time with this person. Now, there's some sort of event that you're going to attend in June. Weddings happen in June. Ceremonies. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Something ceremonial is going to happen in June or early July. So weddings, um, graduations, national holidays, something of that nature. Okay. All right. Let's see what else Spirit has for you. Spirit wants to give you an L key, she, who, oracle message. This is different. I don't think this has ever been called upon in a new love reading. I don't think this oracle deck has ever been called upon during a new love reading. We have... <clears throat> Excuse me. Estefania. She who surrenders, chains, bondage, and release. And then we have Volaris. She who flies, dares, does, and reaches. Yes. So you're changing here. You do make the necessary changes is what I'm hearing. Estefania. What a beautiful name, isn't it? The lesson of this card is that when we surrender to the losses of the past, we strangle ourselves with sorrow. We hold ourselves to things that are not true. It reminds us that when we let the ropes of past hurts turn into anchors, they only hold us back. Your task is to carefully review things from the past. If they cause you pain, you must let them go. Do not let other people rent that space in your head. It can be like a paper cut or any wound that just won't heal because you keep touching it. Put the past in the past where it belongs. Breaking this chain of misery may not be easy, but you've been given the chance to start fresh. Don't let misery detain you from the amazing love and life that's ahead of you. I see you. I see you changing. You've got Volaris here. Volatile Volaris. All right, let's see what Volaris says. The message of this card is don't hide from your dreams. What do you truly seek? Do go ahead and give in to your crazy flights of fancy. The unicorn here, okay? Believe Anything you want to believe because it becomes reality when you believe it. All right, so draw, dive into your flights of fancy. Spread your wings as wide as you dare. But also listen to the advice of those who may have also already dreamed, also flown, and survived the fall, okay? Learn from your ancestors is what I'm hearing. Meditation. I forgot to clarify the King of Fire there. That's your energy. You step up. You go from the Page of Fire, Two of Wands, to this feeling in control of yourself with this situation. It is a long time in coming. Sorry about that. Spirits told me to do that right now. Okay, so spread your wings as wide as you dare, but also listen to the advice of those who may have also dreamed, also flown, and, and yet survived the fall. Remember, many great things have come about because of those who dreamed 
but maybe they didn't get it uh, have success the first time. And I, I keep getting this Steve Jobs image of the cell phone. He didn't just imagine a cell phone and you know, how it works and everything else without meditating, without dreaming, without using his imagination, okay? Without being at peace with himself. You're in failing time and time again. That cell phone, that Apple phone, it was not created in a day, okay? Not the first time it was tried. Every step gets you one step closer. Every attempt, one step closer. Okay, so heed the warnings, uh, or not the warnings, heeds, heed the lessons learned by those who have tried and failed. Your failures will propel you forward towards your successes. Now, launch yourself into the air, dreamer. Go for it. Spread your big, wonderful heart so that your soul can take flight. Don't fear the fall. Embrace the flight. You are that unique unicorn. Go. Be unique. Show the world what you have to offer. All right. We are going to get you messages from the Lenormand, the Gilded Reverie here. Spirit, what would you like to tell our lovelies? Lovely, lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, Channel fans, anybody who is here listening to this message, what more, what message would you like to give using the Gilded Reverie? And there it is. And I got the deck upside down, sorry. So 31 would be a four, stability, okay? But this is the sun and the ace of pentacles. So this is like a brand new, fresh start. Everything's out in the open. There is still plenty of time for you to find the love of your life. Absolutely. You have to decide to live in the sun in the present moment. Take advantage of what is there for you. Put things to rest that need to be put to rest. Card number eight. <clears throat> and eights talk about everything falling into place just as it's meant to because you're releasing. When you release the negative, the void has to be filled with something. And because you are focusing on the positive, that's what's going to come in. Your positive affirmations, okay? Every negative thought that you release allows you to fill that space with a positive. Keep doing that. It's hard work, but you've got it. All right. And then you've got card 32 here. This is the moon and going through the phases. This is just telling me it is going to take time. Eight of cups. You will eventually get to the point where you've left it behind and you're facing your future. Beautiful. Okay. Spirit says that's it for that. Let's see what the kipper, the messages are using the kipper deck here. I hope you guys are enjoying this message. It's actually a very beautiful message. Um, very realistic message, too. Um, if you are, please go ahead and tickle, tap, and boop the like button for me, B-O-O-P. Drop a comment. Claim this reading as your own. Are you that person who's now working on the positive affirmations, or are you starting to? Is this something you need to do? Would you be interested in this type of person? Okay, some of you may or may not be. Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Also, if you're a tarot reader and you've got a different opinion about anything that's been interpreted here, please feel free to give your interpretation of it. <clears throat> this is just the message that Spirit's giving me to give to all of you. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, please go ahead and check out the description box. I will send you all the information, pricing, how it works, and so on and so forth. All right, and join our awesome community by subscribing to this channel. We have a beautiful community here. Okay, Spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path here. You've got 35, which is an 8. You've got double 8s here. Things are falling into place. You are headed in the right direction. You have a new focus. Beautiful message there. Beautiful. Oh, I just have such a wonderful sense of peace just came over me. Happiness for you guys. A sense of, I feel like a parent. Okay, I am a parent. But I feel like a parent who just saw their child 
um, settle into something and there's satisfaction in seeing that. Like, I'm happy for my child. And that's how I feel right now for you, that there's a realization, there's a clarity, a truth, you're, a progression here. You are moving in the right direction. Now, there may be a message of concern coming from yourself. I just literally heard from yourself. You know what this is? This is you writing yourself a letter for the future. So you're going to start your positive affirmations here. And what you're going to do is you're going to write a letter to yourself that you're going to read in like three to five weeks or eight weeks, maybe even eight months from now. But I don't think it's going to take you months. I think it's going to take you maybe three to five weeks, eight weeks. And then you're going to open that letter up and you're going to read it. And you're going to see all the changes, all the positive changes from where you were right here today to that point right there. And you're going to write another letter. Okay, so this is that message of concern. What you need to take care of, what you need to do to make yourself right. Hey, I love you, self. I want to see you succeed. These are the things that you need to focus on and take care of. Can you do this? Let's work together. Let's co-create, okay? You and yourself and spirit. Let's see what else um, spirit has to say here using the Kipper deck. So, yes, you're going to come back and revisit that message of concern. Some of you are going to go on a journey. Some of you may come into some sort of money here. Oh, this was in the reverse. And these two were meant to come out together. This came over here. <clears throat> I'm getting that you are supposed to be taking a trip, but somebody may have been uh, taking money that was actually yours or overcharging you for something. Oh my goodness. Yeah, something is going to be set right here and you're going to come into some sort of money unexpectedly. You may have made an investment in something in the past and there was some sort of lawsuit. It's going to, and you may you may not know anything about this. You're about to receive back any money that you put in. So that would be an unexpected amount of money. You may earn money on that money. But what I'm hearing is, is whatever you receive back is how you're going to go enjoy this activity. Wow, that's incredible. Now, this could be that you were signed up for something and like a, a, a tr free trial. Okay, I'm getting like a free trial and you forgot to turn off the subscription and you totally forgot about it and you've been getting charged for this in the background all of a sudden you realize I can turn that off and I'm going to save myself this much money each month. And you're going to take that money that was automatically being taken out of your account. And now you're going to put it into a vacation savings or my fun jar. Okay, whatever. So you're, you've got something good coming here. Something's coming back that's going to help you to enjoy this endeavor. All right. Anything else here, Spirit, using the Kipper deck? I love that message for you. This is cool. Look, we've got more traveling, distant horizons, exotic places. Has anybody seen anything like this in real life yet? Maybe, maybe not. But it's exotic. It's cool. It's awesome. It's a ship. It with, it's like an airplane, but it's a ship that should be going through water. Okay? But whatever it is, it's stable. You're breaking the anchor, I'm hearing, too. Releasing the anchor, letting the anchor go so that you can fly free. Somebody's receiving a high honor here. Um, it could have to do with this money. High honor comes across differently today. It feels more like... Um, Receiving something that you deserve. Something that's yours, though, that you should have had all along. And that's why I feel like this goes here. And that's card 25, which is 7. Something lucky and good is happening here. Okay, so this is all like behind the scenes. You don't know anything about this. 
But I do get you traveling. You've got the journey card and distant horizons, okay? All right, let us go ahead and get you an enchanted map, Oracle message. How long is this reading? We're at 50 minutes. All right, I'm going to do these. We will do the alphabet die, and then we will close this out. Okay, so look, come together. Card eight, everything is falling into place. Keep that unicorn in mind there, okay? It's a long time in coming for you to break free and stand on your own two feet here. All right, so come together. Let's take a quick look at this. Love needs to be shared. And you have love. You have a lot of love to give. All right. So it says, drawing this card is a sign that you are on the path to discover the nature of this emotion in every form that it can express. Romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and take between you and a significant other and yourself. This card assures you that love has come calling and is seeking a partner in its dance. Understand that you are cherished. Like a magnet, you are now attracting love into your life. This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships and it's all because you changed how you view yourself i have to point out on the bottom of the deck is card 47 sacred pool but that's an 11 that's about you coming into alignment with yourself and your higher power the world is a reflection of your thoughts your feelings and your beliefs embody the love that you wish to find oh my gosh that's incredible that is incredible. Okay. All right. Let's roll the um, letter die here and see what we come up with. Whatever comes out, comes out. Okay. So it's just messages straight from spirit. Whatever words, places, items, it doesn't matter. Um, take it as it resonates or leave it for those that it does. All right. We have crib, cricket, daiquiri, lemony, James, JC, Susan, Samuel, mattress, Tucker, zinc, whoa, Ernest, Ernie, being honest and earnest, but also Ernie, um, Caden, Macy and Lake Como. I thought they were saying demo. Lake, maybe they are saying demo, Lake Demo. But I'm hearing Lake Como. I think that's in New York. All right. Sally, Rosary, Rosy, Quentin. Patrice, Xander, Lexi, Larry, Terry. I don't think we've ever had that before. I would know. Um, Casey, Cassie, Jill, Jumper, I was hearing some things, but I don't think I want to bring those up. Denise, Demi, like Demi Moore, Demi Moore. Um, Lackey. I'm hearing that as a name, but I'm also hearing like a jockey. I don't know what Lackey and jockey have to do with each other. Um, Slick. As a nickname, St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis Obispo, Zulu, Jack Araya, 
Jakari, Uri, Ra Renee, Roland, Mississippi, Delaware, a deck. I'm seeing a cruise ship, promenade deck. A mastiff, I believe that's a dog. Whoops, we'll take it. Adam, Alicia, Allison, agriculture, federal, faced, someone is famous, somebody has been defamed. Badlands, Baghdad, Cabbage, something wild here, and I definitely, something's wild up above and wild right in front of you. I don't know what that means, but it's meant for somebody out there. I will re-roll that die because it is a wild on top. All right. Um, Warren, William, Wilma. Walter, Vast, Mount Vesuvius, Kathleen, KJ, Isaac, Igor, Ian, Nancy, Ned. Nancy and Ned makes me think of Nancy Drew. There may be a message there about Nancy Drew for some of you. Sally, Tanya, Lacey. I think I said some of these. Javier, I'm hearing Wilhelm, so very German sounding, Wilhelm. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but... All right, we also have... D.C., like Washington, D.C., Medi, Mefa, FEMA. <laughs> Somebody transposes letters, which is, is, it happens to a lot of us. Okay, which just happened to me. So that's FEMA. Um, Fabi. Caleb, Dance, DJ, Tassel, Morgan, Mina, Carol, Brad, Darren, Oh, these, that's a wild too. I'll re-roll. I'll re-roll both of these at the same time. All right. Young. Yeti. Vicarious. West Virginia. Portland. Parmesan, Persimmon, Reggie, Reagan, Foxy, Former, Taffy, Glad, Gaslighted, Omar, oh my, oxen, that has something to do with somebody where you live, you have oxen, you raise oxen, or you use them for farming, and they may be called something else where you're from, um, fermented, Roxy, and Ava. That's what I've got for you guys. 
I hope you enjoyed this reading. We're almost at exactly one hour. That's crazy. Sorry it's so long, but the message is the message. Even with my interruption, we got through this. Tickle, tap, boop, claim, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you haven't done so already, we want you to join this awesome community. All right, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.